Hello, this is Tom, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use variables in your circle milling G-code that will allow you to change your tool diameter and your bore diameter without having to rewrite your G-code. Now in the last video we talked about how to use this half-inch end mill to circle mill a two-inch diameter bore. We talked about how to do a arced lead-in to keep from getting a ding at the start of your circle and also a lead out and then back to center. Now we talked in detail about how to use the G3 code and the I's and J's and how to make all that work. Now if you wanted to change the diameter of your bore then you would obviously have to rewrite the code to the new diameters or if you wanted to change the size of your end mill all this code again would change. Now to keep from having to change your code, I'm going to show you how to use some variables in your code so that the only thing you will have to do is change one or two variables depending on the changes you're going to make. One variable that controls the diameter of your bore and one variable that controls the diameter of your tool. So let me show you how that's done. Alright, so here you're looking at the program that is using variables to control the diameter of your circle and the diameter of your tool. So the number 100 variable right now is loaded with a 2 inch diameter and the number 101 is loaded with a 0.5 diameter tool. Now the man readable next to these values is in parentheses and the machine will ignore anything that's in parentheses and consider that a man readable. So the number 100 and number 101 variables are used down below in the program to calculate the X, Y, I's, and J values. So I saved the program in the description field down below the video. So feel free to take a copy and load it into your machine. Obviously, be very careful when you go to testing it. Slow down your rapids and make sure that you put an offset in Z a couple of two, three inches above your part and test it out before you commit to letting your tool go down into the material. Alright, so if you wanted to change the diameter of your circle then you simply change it right here and if you wanted to change the half inch to a .750 diameter tool then that's how simple it is to change from one diameter to the next. Alright, so I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions leave me a comment and of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.